So can you tell me about your relationship with mommy? It was really good. What kind of stuff did you guys do? We um, watched TV together, sad. I wish that she was here with us today. The stuff that happened when me and Steven weren't there at mommy's house with you? Me and James like, Hope that you would come again. What kinds of stuff happened over there besides you guys missing us? Fighting. Fighting. Mom and daddy. Mostly fighting. Miss your daddy? Do you want to take a little break? So can you tell me um, about your mom, what you remember? I remember her name is Mom. And <laughs> that's what I called her because her name was Mom. And um, she liked cookies. Uh-huh. And sometimes we used to go get cookies at Stop and Shop, like Eminem, Eminem ones, not chocolate chip. And then bring them back and watch movies. Don't worry, we used milk. And what can you tell me um, about her as a parent? She was very good. Like, be honest. Very good. I don't know how you guys do I have to be honest, I can't imagine what you guys have been through. I can't, oh, sorry, I can't imagine the treatment of could. And I'm really proud of my family and of you guys for sticking together as a unit. I remember my mother taking <clears throat> Elizabeth to Germany for two years, your mother, Mm -hmm. when she was little. It was so hard for me to be away from my four-year-old. And after one week, I I cried every day, and then I said, oh my God, I got another week to go. So it was very, it was, I could not comprehend that she could be away from them. And that's how she had to stay high. Because I think she couldn't handle it. Yeah, I used to take care of her a lot. She used to to make me feel bad about not doing stuff for her and not being there. I mean, I thought it was my fault, but it wasn't my fault. No, but you wanted to make her happy. You know? But you couldn't make, you can't make a drug addict happy unless you're giving them drugs. And that is where I had to come myself. It's harder for a little person, a little kid to get there, because it was hard for me to get there. It's hard for Grandpa. To, he wants to blame it on James. And it's not all his fault. But, but that's how he gets by. What was your reaction? Shocked. Surprised, because that's not the person she's made out to be. Mm-hmm. That's not the person that she was. Yeah, we, it's a person we the know. That she's made out to be, and we never ever. That's not how. That's not the person we know. All right. So, what are your feelings towards James McGarvey? Big James. Big James. Um. At first, uh, I kind of liked him, kind of. But um, as time went by and. I saw his true person, person personality. 
I wasn't too thrilled about him. Um, also, um, all this that is going on is also his uh, part. He may, he attribute all this that's going on, and um, you know, at first, the first time I said, okay, we all make mistakes. You just gotta go on and try to just look forward and you know take care of your children that that's the most important thing uh, first time second time third time I didn't want to be bothered with him because you can make a mistake once or twice but then um, to do all that he did it made uh, not only you and your brother but um, Jamesy and Bella go through what they went through um, and mommy of course so I I really don't care for him I don't like him I want no part of him I knocked on her door meanwhile I just spoke to her like about an hour and a half before that when um, I knocked on the door she didn't answer so you know waited a little while I called her cell phone she didn't answer the door so I knocked on the door again and there was no answer. And then at this point, I already knew James. He was home. He was real small. He was still, he was. He could have been maybe, maybe like two years old, you know. So he was in the playpen and stuff at that time. And you know, I'm knocking the door now. I hear him crying, you know, inside the apartment. So when I hear him crying, nobody's answering the door now. My concern is, you know, what's going on? They fell out, you know. Whatever, so I basically started banging on the door, and then after I exhausted that and that wasn't working, I tried to open the window because she lived on the first floor. So as I'm opening the window, at that point, I guess James must have heard the 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 window opening, and he came to the door and opened. And he's like, "Yo, what's up?" I'm like, "Yo, what's up, man? What's going on?" You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, basically, the baby's crying. You know what I'm saying? I'm knocking on the door. You guys aren't answering the door, and I see James in the playpen. You know, it was that old apartment on 204th Street. So, I basically, you know, kind of had, you know, I had a few words with him. And then at that point in time, I said, you know, should I take the baby with me? And he was like, no, we got it, we got it, we're good. But I could see all over the face that they were, like, crashing, they were coming down. So, at that point in time, I didn't, I didn't care what any of them said. I took Jamesy, I got him dressed, and I took him with me. And then, basically... When we were helping, it was it was Alyssa, big Alyssa. When we were helping her move, we basically took turns watching Jamesy while, you know what I mean, the other two were moving stuff out of the truck and moving it into the apartment. So if there's anything you could change about what happened, just one thing, I mean, one thing. I, can't, I couldn't pick one thing. You have to pick one thing. One thing? What would it be? That they didn't do drugs. And why? <laughs> because it, like... It's, it's nothing good's come out of it. They've literally lost everything. I mean, I, I just, to be mid-30s and having to literally start your entire life, if that's even how it goes, it's still crazy. And to have missed out on those moments that they can't get back with you guys. Because the number one thing that'll come to mind is Steven's graduation. Two graduations. No. Just the Fifth his fifth grade graduation because she was supposed to be there because everyone stood and watched the back door waiting for her to walk in to get some other crazy story as to why she couldn't be there for him and he always got it worse it affected my relationship with Andrew in a lot of ways I didn't Andrew and I didn't live in a house together but I was still playing your mom every single day going to your parent teacher conferences not that I didn't go to his but coming home to you guys every day and sitting and watching my shows with you every night, you know what I mean? And not doing that stuff with him. That more affected how he felt, you know what I mean? It made him feel like he was the stepchild and you guys were the kids. 